Hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a nail haul. Now this is going to be from a couple of different um, shopping stores, nail collective haul, organization, things like that. I do have two, two huge boxes. In space, as you can see, I will be doing a um, nail room tour. Let's get right into it. The first thing I have here is this Equal Beauty Brush Organizer Compact. If I keep looking up, I have a mirror in back of my phone so I can make sure that I'm in focus and in view. This is from Walmart and it's just a really, really cool organizer, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you. I bought this for my nail desk because the one that I currently have is small and black. And I'm kind of going for uh, like an acrylic look, marble, white, you know, gray, tints like that. So I am changing that around. So this is what this looks like. Okay, and it does open like that and then trying to hold it right it opens on this side as well and then you have your compartments here um it doesn't like twirl or anything like that it's just your brush holder so i got that from dollar tree i got towel holder <laughs> paper towel holder sorry just have in my corner for when I need it because you do go through quite a few um, paper towels when you're doing nails. So I got that. And even, oh, did I get it from there? I don't remember. So I got this uh, clear square bathroom organizer. Um, I think I got this from Dollar General. Um, yeah, I believe it was Dollar General or Walmart. It could be Dollar General or Walmart, I'm not sure. It's by Interiors, by Design. This is just to put my cotton pads in um, and again with the acrylic organizer stuff. I'm just trying to have everything see-through and nice and elegant things like that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this, but I did buy it. I got this from Dollar Tree and it's a brush, to brush holder. But I got it, of course, for um, brushes, nail brushes. I also got this. This is also Equal Beauty. Um, this is a cosmetic brush organizing cups. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this for cups. I bought this for the same reason that I bought this. To put um, cotton swabs or like um, cotton pads. But we'll see. But definitely going to go on my nail desk. I also bought, I thought I bought two of these, um, it could be in the other box, but I got these from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use this, for, I didn't notice that I had so many things for brushes, <laughs> I can only imagine what I have in the other box. I also got these from Dollar Tree, um, I won't be using them as makeup brushes, if I find more, I will go back and buy another set, um, but this is for nail purposes, um, I'm going to be using this kind of like powder brush to dust off nail dust things like that and this one I haven't decided what I'm gonna use it for um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it for like um, cuticle cleanup it's quite a big head on that one this is a concealer brush and then again this one is your powder brush and they're really soft guys um, no fallout anything like that so I really like the thumb from Dollar Tree, I got this gray little garbage bin just to put in my nail area. I do have a white one, um, but I might actually give that one to my fiance and then just keep this one. I didn't even know. I have so much stuff that I've been hauling and um, gathering up to do a nail haul for you guys. And that way I can just add it to my nail area once it was up and running, which is why, again, I'm doing this video. So that way I can just start putting things away. Um, but yeah, again with the uh, gray and white theme in my nail area. Storage, storage purposes, I got this container from Walmart. It's a 3x5 box. So, 
pretty big as you can see compared to my head <laughs> probably gonna be for when I travel to put some nail polishes in so I got that time Dollar Tree had these magnet holders I did have the purple one um, but this was a new color and I really 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 liked it it I already knew that I was gonna go for like a marble white gray thing in my nail area but I did want these because it does give a pop of color not sure if I am gonna incorporate it in my like on the outside nail area it might be for like storage purposes in the drawer I'm not sure we'll see how it looks so I get it up and running if I don't like it then again I'm gonna still use them but they'll be in the drawer I did go ahead and get these from Family Dollar. You know what? I think this was from Family Dollar, you guys. I believe so. So I did get um, these dressing containers with lids. They were a dollar. Um, I'm already using one. I hope so. Anyways, yeah. So it's a nice tan color. Um, I like those. So I also found this tan uh, kiss gel strong you guys I really really love um, these polishes they're awesome I have a collection behind me that I got all from Dollar Tree I also did get this insta dry remember what I got it for I use insta dry polishes for stamping I bought the clear one because I wanted to stamp with clear but I think I wanted to put pigment on top of it if that makes sense i do plan on doing a video on it so if i do get to that i will definitely show you guys but it's just a clear um sally hansen is the dry and again i use those polishes for stamping I did get a dymo or yeah dymo uh clear labels for my label machine um i do use this a lot in my nail area um, to label stuff. Oh, I hope I'm telling you where I'm getting this from, you guys. This was from Walmart. This was from Walmart. And then uh, this Easy Liner. Again, like with the whole marble theme. Uh, I got this from Walmart. Tree. Let me get this out the way. Um, I got a bunch of these. These I got probably about eight of them. These for place a label on them with my client's name, and then in each one I have a kit. As far as like, I'll have cuticle nippers, files, buffers. So I use that. That way each client has their own. Um, and when I disinfect them, I don't really have to have in the back of my my head what if. You know what I mean if any germs or anything were left on there it's that client you know what I mean so um yeah I just these are extra right now I have three that I'm using and I actually don't know where the rest of these are I have to find them I don't know what I bought these for um I purchased four of these from the Dollar Tree and I had something in mind for these for my nail area obviously because of the marble print I don't remember what it was for so um when i remember i'll definitely let you guys know but um this is definitely for my nail area i got five five of these bad boys this was a great deal to me i purchased these from dollar tree let's flip this around <laughs> these are swispers hope i said that right 100 percent cotton cotton cleansing cloths 24 count this was awesome for nail stamping and for um taking off nail polish so i got five of them and i still see them in my dollar tree so i'm probably gonna grab more because i can never have too many cotton pads or cotton cloths whatever you want to call them i go through a lot this from say job block um i think it was two dollars yeah two dollars and what i plan to use this this is a bar ball board naturally stain resistant double-sided use um, bamboo you know like a 
uh, wood and I plan on using this for when I stamp just to have a nice hard sturdy place and when I swipe I'm not getting it all over my desk from online I ordered a couple of things I'm actually waiting for some more stuff to come in so once that come in um, once that comes in I would definitely do a small haul on that but I have here I think nine let me see they look like this um, eight of these polishes and they are um, from it's not like actually showing but it's from elite 99 and these are cat eye polishes um, that you use with a magnet and they're beautiful you guys look at that color beautiful 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 they are gel um, have a bunch of different colors I'm trying to grow um, my gel collection here so we shall see I got eight of those which is from born pretty store the um, magnet I didn't know I was this small <laughs> But I got the little magnet to go with it. So I got that. And then some more online mount. I got this from one pretty store too, I believe. Little crystal heads. And then on the bottom, one is pointy. One is a spatula, and then one is a scoop. So um, I'm gonna be using these for nail purposes. Um, one as a dotting tool, one to mix up gel, and then one to scoop up powder or whatever I need it for. Another package, I think this came with two. These are water decals, and I thought they were so pretty, you guys. So I had to get them. Again, these are water decals. So it's kind of like a water decal. It's kind of like um, a tattoo on your nail, basically. So from Dollar Tree. I Again, this is for my nail area, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I don't remember what I wanted it for, but it was for nail purposes. <laughs> um, I purchased this from Walmart. And these are just like little clips that you can use to soak off your nail. So what you would do is put a cotton swab in that and then just clip it on your nail and leave it there for 10 to 20 minutes depending how long it takes your acrylic or gel needs to take to come off. So I got that. And then from Dollar Tree, I did also purchase this. Again, for a pop of color because it did match um, these. And it does have gold, which I did incorporate in my nail area as well. So, um, again, not sure if I will be incorporating this on the outside. Probably not. This will probably definitely be going in a drawer. But, um, yeah, for storage purposes. I did purchase um, two of these from Dollar Tree for decoration purposes. I thought they were super, super cute. And, again, they're gold, um, so I can incorporate more gold in my nail area because I love gold that's my favorite jewelry color gold purchase this elephant um, I was gonna put it in my nail area you guys but I actually think I'm gonna give this to my mom because my mom is an elephant lover she loves it she believes that they are good luck and um, they bring money that's what she believes in and I believe in it and that's why I get it for her she absolutely loves them from Dollar Tree these travel jars again you guys these always come in handy whether it's to mix gel um, put powders in um, put embellishments in it trust and believe these things come in handy for me so I grabbed that um, from Dollar Tree I also grabbed these white cloud cotton rounds these do just fine especially when it comes to taking off um, uh, nail polish two hands down nail wipes 
I love these. These I definitely use for gel to remove the sticky layer. If you use the cotton rounds, um, they have lint in them, so it stays stuck to the gel. Um, but yeah, with these, they're lint free and they work, work awesome. And I also purchased these, this Beauty Secret 180 grit. My favorite files to use. Tree, I got, I actually purchased two of these. Uh, one is under all this mess. Um, but these are just uh, diamond gloves. Um, they come with 10 in them. So these, I have nails on and I don't want to ruin my nails. These come in handy. Just to be extra sanitized, even though, to be honest with you guys, when I'm doing nail art and stuff, I prefer to have no gloves on because I like to feel and make sure I have a good grip on things. I'll be incorporating um, piercing, piercing kit in my nail area. To do ear lobes, you guys, nothing crazy. Um, pierce my nose and um, my fourth, yeah, fourth hole myself. Um, this one I got done at Claire's and you guys, it was like 90 bucks almost. Well, yeah, probably. Maybe a little bit less because they charge you for the earring. But it was expensive and I was like, no. My friend actually paid for it. My sister-in-law paid for it for me. And I felt bad because it was really expensive, which was also expensive. But when it comes to these type of earrings... I recommend you go to a professional earlobes you should go to a professional but that's you know you do things the right way you can with the gun do a piercing on an earlobe and it'll be fine so I do want to incorporate that in my nail area or my nail studio I should say a few friends that want me to pierce their ears so I thought that would be cool to incorporate last but not least I did purchase these reusable wipes from uh, Dollar Tree the scrub buddy brand and these are awesome you guys I absolutely love 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 these um, I use them to put on top of my table when I'm doing nail art or any type of um, nail work and they are lint free so they're awesome um, so that's the end of this haul part one this is the first my beauties and welcome back to my channel so I'm going to continue on with part two of the nail haul. Um, so I'm just gonna go right into it, starting with um, these 20 count eyeshadow applicators from Sassy and Chic. I got this from Dollar Tree, and um, this is for my nail area to apply chrome on the nails. I bought this Equit Equit, if I'm saying that right. 91% Isopro alcohol and I love this stuff in my nail area Walmart I got the onyx professional uh, nail polish remover 100% pure acetone and I love this stuff as well I got three of these little uh, drawer yeah these little drawers I got three, again, with the gray, white, gold theme in my nail area. Three of those. I had purchased, I think, about three of these. These are the Deco Adhesive Laminate, and this is by the Young Brand. And um, this is just marble print, and I absolutely love this. This definitely came in handy in my nail area, and I still have the finish. Um, I do want to cover this up in um, marble print as well, so hopefully I can do that with this. And I bought this number 12 acrylic brush. It's just a bigger, a bigger head, you guys. And I'm finding that I do like the bigger heads better because um, I get done faster when applying acrylic. So. And this is super cool. It does have like some gems in the background or crystals. I, hope you guys can see. I bought two of these essential organizers. Again, for storage purposes, they're really, really long, you guys. Um, 
I'm gonna grab two of those. Organization purposes, I got the Essentials collapsi Collapsible Storage Container. Um, this one comes with dividers. And this is just like gray and black. Just for storage purposes. This will probably go in my closet um, to store some nail goodies, actually. So, luxury. This is the Cooking Concepts Chopping Mat. Um, it does come with two in here. But I already used one and had to throw it out because it got really messed up in the old place. Um, I was using it a lot. Uh, but these are awesome to lay flat when doing nail art. Um, so I don't get, again, nail stuff all over my nail desk because it is a hassle to take out, especially when you're dealing with white. Sorry if my camera's shaking, you guys. Michaels, I think this was Michaels. Yeah, I think this was from Michaels. Um, I got this mixing palette for a dollar. Again, for nail art purposes. Cute, white, ceramic. Um, soap dispenser from Dollar Tree. I did want to incorporate this in my nail area to put some lotion in it. More Ashore cotton rounds. Dollar Tree, I got two of these organizers from the brand Essentials. And these are how these look. They're really wide. Absolutely love them. Um, more of the travel jars. Another essential organizer for a 12, 16 um, slots. And I put my, I believe it's wet and wild. Yeah, my wet and wild polishes in here. They fit beautifully and I add them to my drawer. So I have like one drawer that's basically full of these with wet and wild polishes. Bed and bought. 30 foil sheets from Dollar Tree. I got squish, as you can see, in the um, box. But um, I bought this to apply to nails to remove, uh, for nail removal. I purchased this Lux Studio six piece manicure kit. I have like three more of these in another box for giveaways and, and clients, extra clients, have their own kind of little kid as far as having their own cuticle pusher, their own cuticle nipper, um, gloves, nail files, their own kit in those bags that I show you that way. Clean and, you know, I don't have to worry about disinfecting it extra because I'm using it on different people or different clients. It's just easier and much better for me when I, if I do it like that. I think this was like 12 something at Walmart. From Dollar Tree, I got this over the cabinet towel bar. When I initially bought this, this was for paper towels. I thought you can like put it on the wall, um, but obviously it has nothing in the back to hang it. Uh, this is actually for like here. I don't know if you can see that but um, I would probably put that there. And again, it's for towels. <laughs> so even if I wanted to use it for um, paper towels, I couldn't because it doesn't come out. Uh, some of these remover hooks, um, I'm not even sure what I needed them for, but it might come in handy. From Ocean State Job Blood, I got my essentials tray, um, clear acrylic storage container, and I absolutely fell in love with this device. This is gonna be awesome to place over here in my nail area on the top just for organization purposes because I'm very OCD. I like everything to be placed nicely and clean and yeah, so. Uh, this was $10 at Ocean State, which was two of these memory. And they look like this. This one broke. I have to fix it. I just have to glue the back of it. But um, I bought this for my nail area as well. Dollar Tree, I purchased two of these containers. Um, it came with three, actually. I don't know what I did with the third one. But I have two here that I will be using for organization purposes as well. So from Walmart, 
I got this Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Color in Silver Installation. Again, for stamping purposes. These polishes, polishes are awesome for stamping, you guys. If you love nail stamping and you have trouble finding polishes to stamp and you don't want to spend the extra money on um, stamping polishes, these work just as well. They're awesome. They dry fast. They're amazing. I love them. So, my beauties, that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoy stuff was mostly for like organization purposes and being that I knew I was moving and I was gonna have my nail studio so I did want to have everything organized and neat as soon as I move in moved in so thank you all for watching uh, like comment share subscribe if you have any questions leave it down below and see you guys next time